Thank you, Mr. Master, for the introduction. Before we start the education module, please allow me to read a few lines from Mary Stevenson, written in 1936, Footprints in the Sand. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with my master. Many scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each scene, I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times, there were just one set of footprints. This bothered me because I noticed that during the low periods of my life, when I was suffering from anguish, sorry or defeat, I could see only one set of footprints. So I said to my master, you promised me, oh master, that if I followed you, you would walk with me always. But I noticed that during my most trying periods of my life, there have been only one set of footprints in the sand. Why, Master, when I needed you most, you were not there for me? The Master replied, The times when you have seen only one set of footprints are when I carried you. Dear Toastmasters and guests, good evening. Good evening. Today's session is all about mentoring. First, what is mentoring? Toastmaster International, how we define mentoring? A professional relationship in which an experienced person assists another person with less experience in developing specific skills and knowledge that will enhance the latter's professional and personal growth. Pretty much in line with the Toastmasters mission. And that is what mentoring is all about. Planting seeds and then helping it grow into a beautiful plant and then a tree which will further bear fruits and seeds. I don't know how many of you saw this poster put up by District 20 about mentoring, a very, very beautiful poster. It tells everything that we need to know about mentoring, starting from the goal setting, training, motivation, advice, success, direction, coaching, and support. And this is what mentoring is all about. Mentor, coach, master, guru, acharya. We have so many different words. Do they all mean the same or are they different? Coach and mentor, let's take the two English or same English words. Coach, mentor, master, are they one and the same? Can we hear from the teachers? It's different. No, I think there is a difference. Yeah. What are different? Who said that? <coughs> yes, Kumar, yeah. How are they different? How mentor is different from coach? And how, how they are different from master? A coach would be um, developing or giving inputs on what he is best at. A mentor finds what the other person is good at and helping him grow in that. That's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. Malik has something to say? Same thing? Okay. What about a master? In, especially in the Buddhist, in Zen, we call, call them masters. Are they different? Masters, as the name indicates, they are expert at something. They, are, they have mastery over something. But they do not teach it to others. In, especially in, in the Buddhist culture, they don't even teach. Other people just learn by following them, just looking at them. There is no explicit teaching happening between the master and the disciple. Coach has a very specific purpose, especially coach applied <coughs> by companies to groom people into higher levels. They have specific purposes and those purposes are largely corporate purposes rather than the individual's purpose. We also employ coaches for ourselves, personal coach, very, very popular. I don't know how many of you know about one uh, organization called Empower, which is conducting uh, personal coach certification program here in Qatar. In Toastmasters, we have mentor and coach, especially for a club. 
for those who may not know, coach and mentor for an individual is completely different from coach and mentor for a club. A mentor for a club happens when you have a new club. A coach for a club is appointed when an existing club is about to die, when the number of members falls below 12. So a coach joins when a person is in trouble, when the club is in trouble. A mentor in Toastmasters is appointed to a club to groom it from the basic level when the club starts. The same way, when an individual joins a club, a mentor is assigned to that person to uplift him from the present level, him or her, to a level that he desires to achieve or she desires to achieve. So a mentor is somebody who will help you to reach your goal. The other two, Guru and Acharya, are very interesting. Sanskrit is a very beautiful language. Two letters just guru. The deeper meaning is a person who rids of darkness. Acharya, Charan Minua's feet. Charati is going in Sanskrit. Acharya is the person who shows the way. Famous mentor protege. In, in Toastmaster, we say mentor, mentee. Looks like mentee is not an English word. The correct word is protege. For the person who is receiving the benefits of a mentor. Krishna and Arjuna. Socrates and Plato. And Plato, in turn, became a mentor for Aristotle. Gokhale was a mentor of Mahatma Gandhi. Some more. How many of you know that Steve Jobs was a mentor of Mark Zuckerberg? We'll see more about it. Two famous fashion designers, Yusei Laurent, was a mentor of Christian Dior. Opera <coughs> was mentored by Maya and you. And in the fictional world, Dumbledore was a mentor, Professor Dumbledore was a mentor of Harry Potter. <coughs> this is what Mark Zuckerberg had to say when Steve Jobs passed away. Steve, thank you for being a mentor and a friend. Thanks for showing that what you build can change the world. And that's what mentors can do. They can help you do things that you've never imagined you'd be able to do. This one, can anybody guess who could have said this? I have had many mentors in my life. My grandmother was always encouraging. She always thought I was going to be something when nobody else, including me, thought I was going to amount to something. Any guess? Saran Kita? Saran Kita? Raul Gandhi. What a cricketer. A Hollywood actor. Yes. A Hollywood actor. Clint Eastwood. Now coming back to Toastmasters. Why is mentoring toast important in Toastmasters? Detail Mirena. Why do you think this? Mentoring important in those parts. Because that is where the integrations of public speaking as well as leadership is being imparted by the mentor community. So that the purpose for which he has joined the post the benefit should be passed on to him in effective terms. Thank you. When somebody becomes a member of an existing club, starts attending meetings, he or she is prompted to deliver speeches. But there is no active learning happening for him or her. Nobody is sitting there to teach. They listen to other people speaking, they watch other people speaking. But do they learn anything seriously from that? No. Okay, we give, we give them manuals. Can they learn everything from the manual? No. 
that hand holding is very very important to induct a person into this movement and also to understand what that person is here in Tosma in Tosma as a club for and how we as a club can ensure that he is able to achieve those goals. The personal touch is given by a mentor to a new member. A very, very important step in any club. Mentor essentials. What should we be looking for in a mentor? Because when somebody you know, joins the club, <laughs> attended a few meetings, an induction happens, just before the induction, that member could be given a choice. Would you like somebody from this club to be a mentor? You have a choice preference. On what basis a new member should be choosing a mentor? <coughs> In general, a mentor should be somebody who is available to the main protégeur, should be a patient listener, should be sensitive to that person because each of us have our own learning styles. So unless the mentor is able to understand what suits this protege, the relationship is not going to work. So he should be sensitive, respectful, flexible, supportive, obviously, knowledgeable. This is something. Let us say somebody joins a Toastmaster club to be a champion speaker. Should the mentor be a champion himself or herself? <coughs> Not, necessary. Not necessary. That person need not have the urge to become a champion, but may know everything about public speaking. <coughs> good enough to be a good mentor, a very good mentor. We saw the example of Josephine Lee and Munjan. Munjan wasn't a great champion speaker, maybe he made it up to the division level if I remember correctly. But he was able to groom Josephine Lee to come third in the World Championship of public speaking. So a mentor need not be an expert speaker himself or herself, but should understand what is required. A good listener, for sure. Concern for others. A very important uh, compassion to be empathetic is very is an essential quality of a mentor. Leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Said John Maxwell. But in a mentor, that part goes the way need not be there. <coughs> he should know the way. He should show the way. But he may not go that way. It's the way that you want to go. He'll help you go in that direction. But he may not pursue that path. What is the mentor supposed to do? If you remember the P1 objectives, when we deliver a bus for the icebreaker, it clearly says the objective of the speech is to discover the skills the person already has and areas that need improvement. So we as Toastmasters believe that all of us are endowed with some skill or other. So the mentor should be able to identify what are the good things that are already there in that person and then which areas need to be improved. And that's grinding and polishing. By grinding, you remove the parts that are not required. A famous story, a big stone was there after just a few weeks that had turned into a beautiful idol. Somebody asked the sculptor, how were you able to conceptualize this? He said, I only removed the thing that were not required and it became a beautiful idol. He did not sculpt the idol, but he removed the things that were not required. So, help remove less desirable things. Bring out the latent shine, the hidden talent that are already there in the people, how the mentor can help bring out those things. That's the job of a mentor. Mentoring principles in seven beautiful, six beautiful letters, belief, 
the mentor and the protege should bond well. The mentor should give constructive evaluation. The mentor should listen and observe. The mentor should make it a point to attend the meetings in which the protege is speaking. To listen and observe. Then only he or she will be able to give constructive feedback. Interact regularly in all possible ways. Personal interaction by phone, by email, by WhatsApp, whatever. But keep the contact open, keep the connection open. Encourage and follow. If you are a mentor and your producer doesn't turn up for three or four meetings regularly, <coughs> what do you do? Do you call up to find out why he or she is not coming for the meeting? Does she have a problem? How many of us do that? If you see in the WhatsApp group that your protege has volunteered to deliver a speech, but you don't get to hear from him or her, the speech doesn't come to you for feedback. What do you do? Do you call up and ask? I, I believe you're going to deliver a speech, but are you having prepared? Have you, do you have a script? How many of us do that? That follow up is very important. Mentoring process. Build realistic common expectations. When you are assigned a mentor, you sit with your mentor and have a discussion. Tell your mentor what you want to achieve in your Toastmasters journey. Short term, long term, why are you here? How do you want to go about it? The mentor will tell you what happens in your in the, in the typical Toastmasters journey. How you have to plan your journey. And set expectations which are realistic. Establish goals, plans and processes. Goal is something that you want to reach, but you have to have a plan to reach that goal. And then processes. Support, encourage, correct. Help the main may, may protege or solve the problems if he or she has any. The problem could be a gesture problem, the problem could be stammering problem. There could be many, many problems when it comes to public speaking. How as a mentor you can help the person overcome it? Provide resources. The mentor, the protege may not be aware what kind of resources are available within the Toastmasters framework, outside Toastmasters framework, how to prepare for speeches, where those ideas will come from. Transform. When all this happened and Protege reaches a particular level, he, he or she is transformed. The mentor has to ensure that a new mentor has emerged. Who in turn is ready to pass on what he or she has benefited to other people? Good habits to pass on for a mentor, from a mentor to a protege. Regular attendance in the meetings, relaxed preparation, don't rush through things. Sharing ideas, value for evaluation. You should ensure that your protege takes evaluation seriously. Planning progress, sincere role play, be it speaking, be it grammarian, timer, listener, whatever the person takes up, it should be given the due seriousness. Come prepared for that. <coughs> Taking notes, reading. Reading need not be taking a book and reading. It could be reading a Kindle, reading on the internet, it could be anything. But that constant touch with what's happening in the world, what's happening around us is very important. Because that will give you ideas. That will give you inspiration. Okay, what does a club do in terms of mentoring? Mobile is a pool of mentors. The club has to ensure that there are enough mentors available for the club members. Identify new members' goals. Annual member interest survey for the existing people to find out what they want to achieve. Help find the right mentor for the new members. Establish the relationship. That hand-holding has to be done by the club. After that, the two will carry on. But the club has a responsibility to make that marriage happen between the mentor and the protege. Monitor progress. And celebrate success. 
every success of the protege is a success of the mentor and every success of these two people is a success of the club the club has a responsibility to celebrate the success and inspire other people to do that so the club the member and the mentor all of them in this process okay we can ask what does the mentor get out of this Toastmaster Buller, what does a mentor get in this process of mentoring? See, as a mentor, the first thing when your mentee get benefit out of it, it's a personal satisfaction that you have done your best, that what benefit you achieved, that you have passed it on, and it is giving you the fruits. Thank you. Yes, Shekhar. By sharing knowledge, you will enhance your knowledge. By sharing knowledge, you will enhance your knowledge, yes. A mentor might, your predator might come up with a speech in a topic that you never knew about. It will be a challenge for you to do something with a speech, to give some constructive feedback and enhance it. <coughs> the, your my predator might choose a, when it comes to advanced manual, you may choose a manual that you have never done before. You still have to guide that person. You have to read. So a mentor will be kept on toast if he has got some good protagonists under him or her. <coughs> Finally, I leave you with a quote <coughs> of Colin Powell, former US Secretary General. All of us have the ability to serve as a mentor, to step forward and say, I am going to be a mentor because I want this next generation to take America to a higher level, a better place. We played at America with Indian Club Toastmasters. Oh, wow. And you have a fantastic template for yourself. If I have picked your interest, piqued your interest to become a mentor or to be a member, serious member who takes mentoring seriously, who takes your mentor seriously, I think my job is achieved. Over to you.